my name is Rishabh uh, and uh, I'll be presenting my work BICAT Improving Robustness of uh, LLM Based Rankers to Conditional Distribution Shifts. So uh, in applications such as product search, question answering and recommendation, uh, it's very common to have uh, two stages. So like uh, and typically in these cases, uh, these two stages are retrieval and the other followed up stage is the ranking. Now the retrieval task is to fetch items from a very large corpus uh, given a user query and these models typically have a high recall. I mean like they are very good at fetching items from a large corpus with high recall. Now uh, the ranker's task is to rank items fetched by this retriever and present, uh, present them to the customer and, the, and these rankers usually have a very high precision. right? Uh, nowadays, encoder only large language models like BERT have demonstrated promising results in uh, such applications and retrievers typically uh, employ LLMs in bi-encoder setting, we'll talk about it uh, in detail later. And rankers uh, typically use LLMs in cross-attention settings, uh, we will also talk about these model architectures in detail uh, in the coming slides. And this cross-attention transformer, we'll call it as CAT has shown promising results in these applications. So uh, uh, let's talk briefly about uh, these two things, which is like a retriever and ranker. So as I mentioned uh, earlier, that by encoder is a typical choice for retriever and uh, a typical by encoder architecture uh, or the, uh, the architecture involves first tokenization, then embedding generation, and then cosine similarity uh, computation. Uh, like we can use other uh, similarity function as well, but as I said, these are the typical choices. Uh, the diagram here uh, depicts the architecture. So here the query and item text are processed individually. They are not uh, allowed to interact with each other and uh, these uh, entities are processed individually which result in query and item embeddings which we typically use to compute the similarity score okay so now let's talk about cross attention transformer cat uh, briefly so as i mentioned earlier these are the uh, this is the ranker so it re-ranks top k retrieved items for precision but these are computationally expensive uh, the typical flow in uh, cross attention transform is that first we tokenize and encode query item pairs uh, like together with transformer based network and then we generate the final score with the help of MLPs and these models are trained using binary cross entropy uh, using positive and negative sample from top k results. So in a bi encoder we usually use the contrastive loss. Uh, to train such models and uh, here we use ranking loss or binary cross entropy loss. The, uh, the figure here uh, depicts the typical architecture of uh, cross attention based uh, models uh, where we pass the query and item together and like get the embeddings of these two entities uh, like uh, in a combined way. So we don't get uh, the individual embeddings here. Okay, so now let's talk about the robustness problem. So, uh, this search system typically uses this retriever and ranker, and these are not tightly coupled. I mean, uh, if retriever gets through some modification, uh, like usually it is not followed by the similar modification being done on the ranker. So these are uh, not tightly coupled. The retriever can go through a series of modification while ranker remains the same. This disconnect between rankers and retriever can lead to a shift in item distribution conditioned on queries, which we call CIDS, which is conditional item distribution shift. And uh, we require these robust rankers to, uh, to be, uh, this cat rankers to be robust enough for these uh, conditioned distribution shifts. So let me uh, cover the definition very briefly. So for a given query, so it is not about the distribution shift of the train and test set. It is specifically conditioned on queries. So let Q be a query. And uh, uh, so let's assume that F 
IQTR is the distribution of the train set condition on a query and uh, FQTE is the distribution of test set given that query. We say that the data set have gone uh, through CIDS if these feature distribution uh, differs. Uh, let's take an example and uh, see it through. So consider a query 15 kg laundry detergent and a positive example let's say tight 15 kg washing powder and a negative example aerial 1 kg laundry detergent and let's say our training data consists of such examples now if we train our model with such data model might end up learning that for the above query 15 kg is the most important keyword because mostly the result contains the other keywords which are like laundry detergent but 15 kg is what is the uh, differentiator however if during inference if you see a different example such as basmati rice 15 kg bag model is very likely to mark this as exact because of the presence of token 15 kg so this is one what we call as the distribution shift and uh, these are very important to handle because as i said these are not tightly coupled systems uh, retriever may change and the ranker remains the same so and uh, one very uh, 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 brute force way to handle is this to cat rankers for really long time and for all possible queries in pairs which is not feasible for sure uh, before moving forward let me state that bi encoders are robust to cids i'll show you with examples in uh, later slides first of all uh, bi encoder models are less complex compared to cat models because of their architectural differences and uh, due to this these are faster to train and incorporation of in batch negative sampling and negative augmentation is way easier in bi encoder models compared to cat models and this implies since it is easy to uh, these are com uh, less complex model faster to train the model is generally trained with much more diverse set of negatives making them more robust to different set of negatives unlike cat and uh, these models are generally trained for easy retrieval given the very uh, large size of the corpus so these are not uh, trained for very specific that okay for particular query it should match all the entities only then it should uh, give a very good score and we have verified the robustness of bi encoder on cids through extensive experiments which uh, i'll be covering next okay so uh, let me introduce bycat uh, robust cat ranker so to enhance the cids robustness of cat rankers we augment be with cat as depicted in the figure so on the left hand side you will see the bi encoder arch architecture on the right hand side you will see the cat architecture and these are being infused with a series of mlp layers and in order to train this bycat uh, instead of end-to-end -end training we independently train cat and be models and then merge their outputs and for bi cat training we freeze both bi encoder and cat models parameter for training efficiency this way we just need to train the mlp which is the last uh, set of layers uh, which also uh, allow us to train these model very efficiently without training the entire architect uh, without training the entire uh, model now let's discuss the empirical evaluation so we evaluate the following models first the, is the bi encoder second is the cross attention transformer ranker third is the cat cl which is quite similar to cross attention ranker but a robustified version uh, and uh, basically it uses uh, contrastive lo loss in addition to the ranking loss to uh, improve the robustness and finally the bucket which is our approach on multiple data set including proprietary e-commerce search data set so uh, if you see the tables the highlighted rows on in distribution data cat based rankers like show the best performance surpassing the bi encoder as expected and on the other hand the bycat model shows similar performance uh, to cat rankers on all tasks so this particular uh, these results show that bi encode uh, bi cat models are as good as cat models on in distribution data so which is good now let's see how it performs on cids so uh, for cids we analyze the proprietary e-commerce search data set 
so uh, we fetch this data set from a large e-commerce website so it is coming from some production system now in our case we train the model using be by encoder retrieve result which we train not on the production uh, set but uh, the data is coming from different source and evaluate the model perform models performance on the match set provided by the production system so it is actually the case we were talking about that the model was in you know, a different kind of data and it is being tested on a different data which is uh, kind of fetched from the match set uh, like from the production system so if you see the highlighted rows so when evaluated on the production match set which is a cd a cids a data set there is a significant drop in the performance and be model exhibit the bet, best performance confirming the robustness of be models to see idea so as expected the robustness of the be model is uh, uh, like uh, like the robot the be models are much more robust compared to all the cat based uh, models and the drop in performance of the bycat model is uh, lower than cat indicating that bycat is more robust to see ideas so although there is a drop but it is comparatively less compared to uh, other uh, cat variants so this illustrate that cat rankers are effective on the test set but they are also sensitive to cids and uh, may not be favorable for production systems to uh, take it further we also generated some uh, uh, cids scenario by inducing some uh, negatives so one very simple way of uh, augmenting negatives the random negatives which should be easy for models and uh, one with which is comparatively harder for our models to identify is the that we select a random item for a query and concatenate and concatenate 50% of the query text to the beginning of the item so this is similar to the example i gave before that uh, it tries to match some tokens and if it is matches it doesn't care about the other tokens present and it just says that okay it's a good match it should be popped up at the top here we observe that b models are the most robust to cids i mean uh, even if we concatenate there is a slight uh, dip in the performance but it is far more robust compared to all the cat based rankers uh on that direction bycat model uh, is the second uh, most robust as it combines be and cat which is expected because we wanted it to perform in between of uh, the cat based rankers and um, by encoders and bycat models are consistently uh, more robust compared to the other cat variant which is the uh, typical cat and the cat seal so here to conclude uh, we address the issue of robustness in cat models and uh, there are like plenty of types of robustness issues but here we mainly talk about the conditional item distribution shift and we observe that the performance of cat model drops significantly when evaluated on the data set where the item distribution given the queries uh, different when we compare from train to test to overcome this we uh, propose a very simple uh, change in the architecture uh, where we augment b model with cat to significantly improve the model's robustness our experiments on multiple data sets show the bycat models can maintain the superior performance of cat while also improving the robustness so it's like uh, getting the best of the both the worlds uh, which is like uh, maintaining the robustness of by encoder and uh, maintaining the performance of cat uh, i think yeah that will be it thank you